Kuya Pete and Sophie. Welcome under the pines. I'm washing my hair in a bucket. We don't have running water. Where do you live without running water? I have no idea. <laughs> no, long story. <laughs> well, it all began eight years ago. Wow, it's a long time already. Um, uh, Peter and I moved from Germany to Mexico. Yeah, we had been living in Cologne together. Cologne, Germany. And then I got a job offer from Mexico. So yeah, we both talked about it and what it would mean leaving leaving Germany and moving. And so, yeah, we decided to just do it. Otherwise, maybe we would regret it. Yes. In the summer of 2015, we finally moved to Mexico. With two suitcases. We went to Monclova. That's in Mexico in northern Mexico and it was all desert so it was super dry and super hot it was really amazing that's also um, why we adopted the two Doberman dogs that yeah, we right. now have at one point we felt like we need a change I think we definitely wanted to go to the beach and to the ocean and then we moved to Mazatlan to the Pacific Ocean friends in Mazatlan. Yeah, it was, it's beautiful there. Yeah. If you have a chance to go, go. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. Beautiful beaches. Vamos a la playa. I spent the whole day in a bikini. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was really nice. But at one point we felt like we needed a change. So we decided to move into a van. So we went to Mexico City, bought our VW and converted it. How did you do that? I cut a hole in the wall. And why? <laughs> we kind of thought it would be a cool idea. Eventually the van was done. Yeah, we were, were full of hope and super enthus enthusiastic. And I know where are the keys and yay! <laughs> so, hashtag van life. And we took a trucker ferry. To the Baja California. Oh, that was oh yeah. Beautiful. I think we both yeah. really love Baja California. Yeah. It's the landscape, the beaches. had so many breakdowns all yeah. the time. <laughs> what? Come on! Peter always wanted to burn it. <laughs> he wanted to abandon the car at the side of the road and just run. Yeah. And burn it. Yeah, I really did at some points. I felt like I lived under the van. Van life, shitty van life. Yeah. Next day, and still doesn't <laughs> At one point, we weren't sure if we should go up north because the winter was coming. No, no, we 
have to go until we see a bear and a moose. So we got some snow chains <laughs> for that van. <laughs> no heat, but snow chains. Saved us a few times. I remember that one hill Yeah. on the way back. Yeah, and then we made it to the Yukon with no heater. It was super cold, like our mattress was frozen solid. It was hard, we always had to stop after like 15 minutes driving and then we had to all go outside and we had to run run circles around the car because it was so cold. I, I don't know how I did that. <laughs> Yukon! We met some really good friends, people that we are still friends with, and it was really cool. I think at that point we fell in love with the Yukon and we kind of decided to stay and to experience the winter and the simple living. And I think at that point we decided to um, that we want to live in a cabin. We always had that dream, but it always seemed to be something that's really it's far, super away. far away. Right? And then we could. Like it was yeah. doable. We instantly fell in love. It was it was beautiful. We fell in love with our lifestyle in the cabin and the simple living and being in nature all day long. It was, yeah, beautiful. And we're still here, <laughs> six years later. And we're still here. June 2021, <laughs> our son Kato was born and that's even one more reason to stay. Because we want Kato to know, to get to know the Yukon a little bit. And cabin life in the north. And experience the simple living. Simple living people <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> but we also started to <laughs> dream about other places. So who knows? Maybe next is a cabin on the beach somewhere. Yeah, that would be nice. Some sunny days. <laughs> we live here for six years. It's the sixth winter now. And I kind of miss the sun. Well, I the miss the heat and running around in a bikini, you know, I really enjoyed that in Mexico. Yeah, especially like in, in places in where it's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe it's time to get going again. Or at least change the, the place. That could be somewhere at the beach. Thank you so much for watching our vlog and thank you for your support. Yes, and thank we you. We really appreciate you and that. <laughs> we really, really appreciate you. Yes, and we hope that you check out our Patreon. And we have to say thank you to our new patrons. <laughs> Please hit the like button. Yes, and consider subscribing to our channel. Yes, please. And you can also hit the thank you button. Yes, or it looks like we are really, really, really difficult. Can you see us? <laughs> I think the, the lens gets too much light. Right thank you so much for watching. Hey! Van life! Van life, Cabin was, life. Van life was fun. Van I life was fun. I miss it. Fan. Fun. <laughs> I miss it kind of. Well, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Duh! <laughs> <laughs>